So the fear of telling a woman you like how you feel over a message or a phone call or even in person. I wrote this yesterday, this is to help a lot of men and women, it's the same in reverse, women that have got a fear of telling a man that they like. This was one of my biggest fears of my life and it's, it's, it's still a fear that I have but I've, uh, I've had the courage to face it and overcome it, continue to face it and I want to help more of my clients and more of you lovely people to do the same because at some point we all got this fear, men and women. Again, if we're being honest, but it's all about wh where are we at with the fear? Have we overcome it? Have we, can we face it? Can we, be, uh, can we even be honest about it? Wherever you are, that's fine. I'll help you to move forward. Right, so telling someone uh, how you feel about them at any stage of a relationship, you know, at any stage. So, avoiding this fear will only cause you further pain and stop you from getting the right relationship. It's better to be honest, honest uh, sorry, and risk being hurt than it is to avoid communicating how you feel and keeping your feelings bottled up, especially for men. Men do this very well, bottle their feelings up. If you tell a woman or a person um, that you love them, but they don't feel the same way back and it brings up an immense amount of pain and trauma from your past or whatever, it can actually be a good thing for you in the long run if, if, You've got the courage to face the pain, work on the issue, and grow and grow stronger from it. I've got, I've gone on to write here. Note to note to everyone. Note to self. None of us get out of life alive. So what's the point of living in constant fear of being hurt in a relationship? I realised this a long time about a long time ago about myself and helping a lot of clients in this area. It's better to be honest and truthful about how you feel, in my opinion. Sorry, in how you feel. In my opinion, success in relationships is your ability to tell the truth from a place of love, kindness, honesty and confidence. Failure equals success, a quote from Les Brown. So basically what I'm outlining is, what most people do, men and women, especially men in my experience, because they're so frightened of losing the person, or they're so frightened of saying I love you and the person is saying well I don't love you back, I don't feel the same way, sorry I've, I've fell in love with someone else or the person not giving them the, the, the approval or the love back, people prolong it because they feel like that will be a better option. I've done it in my life so many times, you know, I've been afraid to tell a woman how I really feel. So you're bottling things up and you're waiting for the other person to say it and they might be too scared to say it so you're going to wait forever and both of you might not say it and then communication breaks down and you, and you both lose each other. So the pain, man, the agony of keeping your feelings in it, it, it can, I'm not exaggerating, if you keep doing this, especially for men, it can cause you mental health problems because you're bottling the truth up and you know, and it's not just not fair on yourself and, you're, and if you, look, if you value yourself and you love yourself and you want to live the best life and be honest, you owe it to yourself. I sound like a Rocky movie then, I went into the rest of the saloon. This is from my heart. So you owe it to yourself. And I had this realization from a young boy, it, it just doesn't feel good to keep it in. It's better to get it out. I, I've come to a point in my life now, I'd rather tell the person how I feel. If they don't love me back, that's better. I can't bear the pain of keeping it in. And playing these games that are, oh, I don't, I'm not that into you because I'm so, nah, it's this insecure, it's, there's no truth in that. Don't get, and I understand why people do it because they're terrified of being hurt, and I've been terrified of being hurt many times in my life. But it's the pain, look, there's two pains. There's the pain of never falling in love and risking being hurt because you're so frightened of love and intimacy and being vulnerable and putting trust into someone and yourself. So you avoid it. But when you avoid it, you don't get away with it. You get away with it for today. Today you're safe. And then you go on the premise that, oh, maybe they're going to love me. They're going to tell me that they love me. I won't have to do it. They're going to risk it. They're going to show more feelings. I'm going to act like I'm the cool one. I'm not really into it. They're, they want me more. There's no security in that. That's, that's, a, that's a coward. I'm going to speak my mind. That's a coward. I'm sorry, guys, but you're being a coward. And, and men do this very well. And I did it for many years of my life. And it's not, it's not good. It's not good, it's not, it's not honest, it's not truthful, it's not from the heart. Because at the end of the day, you can't force someone to love you. So if I tell a woman that I love her, and she doesn't love me back, I can't force her to love me. You know, my mum still loves me. <laughs> but no, anyway, seriously, right? You can't. But, I've, but that's how you love yourself. If you love yourself and you have enough confidence, you can handle it. You can handle someone saying, you're, you know, you're not for me. Because there's always someone out there that is for you, that will love you. 
But if you keep playing avoidance, running, triggers, patterns, self-sabotaging, you're not going to you're not going to experience love. And I'm thankful to say that I've experienced love. I've been in love several times. It's the best feeling in the world to love someone and for them to love you and have that love. You can't put a price on that. But the pain of running from it. I, I know all too well what that does and it you're, you don't feel good in yourself, you're hiding and, and you feel like you're being strong, especially for men, this is a message to men, you're being weak. True strength can only be in love and vulnerability, you know we're not talking about hitting a punch bag, I love boxing, I like being strong in that area, but that's, in, that's a different domain. When we're talking about relationships and love, that's, that's not strength. You know, strength is in truth, and as I said, doing it from the right place. You know, it's obviously doing it from a, you know, a healthy, stable place. So um, th that's how I see it, and I get messages all the time from men saying, "I've met this person. Um, I think they like me. I really like them, but I'm afraid to show more feelings. What should I do? Go for it. Life's too short." That's my advice. You know, there's no point. There's no point, and the same advice women, obviously women do it as well. I've had female friends and women reach out and ask me for my advice. Same advice to them because you're just going to cause yourself a lot of pain. As I said, listen, worst case scenario, if you do get hurt, and it, 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 at some point it happens to all of us, we can't escape it. Money can't get you out of that. No matter how attractive you are, you can, listen, you've got, I, I watch people not saying no names. They're multi-billionaires, and they've got followers, they've got jets, and they've had their heart broken. Some of them have had their heart broken more because they don't know who they can trust because everybody wants them for their money and their fame and they don't, and they don't know if the person loves them for who they are. So they go for it. None of us escape it. It's called life. It's how we deal with it though. It's how we deal with it. In the earlier days, I didn't deal with it well. You know, it nearly put, it nearly put me into suicide when I was younger. I got hurt so bad in my early 20s. I was young. A girl uh, fell in love with me and, and I had all these issues at the time. I couldn't communicate and she changed her mind. It nearly broke me down. I started to feel like I want to end my life, which is, which is too emotionally unstable. But I understand what this can do to people. And I had to get a grip. And it changed my life because I had to come back and learn and heal and get stronger. And then, you know, several years later, I met the love of my life. So, you know, it's the truth, man. And people always struggle with the truth. Myself included at times. Not always easy, but it's better. The truth will set you free. And I wanted to... Um, help as many men and women as I could in this video today to set them free from, from this pain. And a lot of the times it works out. Usually it does work out. Because if you feel a need to say it, you usually feel it because you feel that the other person feels the same way. I'm not saying in all cases, but in my experience, if I've got strong feelings that I love someone and I'm afraid to tell them in case I get hurt or they don't feel the same, usually they feel the same way about me. In most cases, <laughs> not in all cases, not in all cases, but in most cases. And boy, when I say it, I feel better. Even if I don't get the reaction I want. Honesty is the best policy in my experience, especially in dating and building a good relationship. Unless you just want to play games, I'm not into all that. I'm not into that stuff. That's not my values. It's not what I teach and it's not what I live. It's the easier option. It's a, it's a quick fix. People play games and they protect and, and men and women do this stuff and I get it. And I did it when I was young because you're scared. You don't want to be hurt. Your ego, all that. But at a certain point, that gives you massive amounts of pain. And it just holds you back from maturing and growing in love and getting the right relationship. So I felt inspired. I feel like this is the perfect time for me to do it as I've uh, got experience. And uh, we'll see where this video goes. I'm going to speak more about this. This wasn't an easy video to do today. I've struggled to do this as well. I feel a bit uncomfortable doing it because I've got to talk about one of my biggest fears that I've had in my life and I'm still working through it and I want to free up and help a lot. I've helped a lot of my clients with this. It's really been holding them back and when I've shared it, it's freed them up a lot. So I want to help more men and women. And I believe this is the difference that seals um, if a relationship's going to work or not. Because otherwise you just waste each other's time. You know, people end up back and forward in for a year or two when they could have found out quicker, do they love each other? Do they want to make something work? If it doesn't work, it's not personal. They both move on, hopefully um, uh, move on in a nice way towards each other and they both find the right person instead of wasting each other's time because of fear of being hurt. Because if you've got a fear of being hurt and you protect yourself from being hurt because you're so scared of it, you're going to get hurt anyway. The worst heartbreak is to not go for it. I've been for it my first 15 years of my life, terrified coward, frightened of everything. Everything frightened me. 
and it caused me so much pain for not going for it. Second chapter of my life said, right, I can't do this no more. I've got suicidal thoughts. I've had enough of living like this. I'm going to try and be the best person I can be. Everything that frightens me, I'm going for it. My whole life changed. And I met the love of my life and my business. I helped loads of people. And the second chapter of my life, we're going at it again, right? We all need more love in our hearts, all right? Hope you enjoyed the video, guys and girls. Speak to you soon. Fearless.